News conference was to officially take delivery of the report conducted by the PricewaterhouseCoopers on the pages of the IT software. It was to cover a period of three years. The team which conducted the review of SNATE also focused on the reasons for purchasing an IT software. Some of the findings suggested that the $72 million used to purchase the IT software was overbloated. It indicated that the amount should have rather been less than $4 million. Currently, Yoko has cited four top management of staff, including the OB company, which supplied the software. The investigative body has since directed those implicated to the Attorney General for further probe. The original OBS contract sum was 34 Point zero million US dollars. But at the time the project was completed, the contract sum had shot up to 66.8 million US dollars and 36 million Ghana cedars. This means that at the end of the OBS project, an additional amount of 32 million US dollars and 36 million Ghana cedars was paid to. PBS. Five suspects were arrested and they are Ernest Thompson, former Director General of SNET, Mrs. Juliet Hassana Kramer, CEO PBS, John Hagan Mensa, former OBS project manager, Caleb Kweku Afaglu, and Thomas Samson Ousu. However, four of them have been cautioned. These include Ernest Thompson, Mrs. Juliet Hassana Kramer, John Hagan Mensa, and Caleb Kwaku Afaglu. After investigations, the office preferred charges of willfully causing financial loss to the state. Director General of Senate, Dr. Jotin Crying, explained that other payments on the purchase of the IT software have been suspended. Costs and a lot of bills that were scheduled to be paid. We didn't pay them yet. We decided that we should all be vetted and, if possible, renegotiated. And we've succeeded in doing some of that. But Chairman Dr. Dokufo pledged strong commitment to uphold the integrity of SNIT to improve benefits of contributors. We are not pushing anything under the carpet. But so far as criminal activity is concerned, Yoko has already dealt with that. So you have nothing to worry about. Management and the board have assured pensioners of improved earnings in the coming months. Meanwhile, SNIT has implored the controller and accountant general to remove 7,844 ghost names from its payroll. The